Full crews tonight on News West 9 at 6. We begin with a issue that first started taking root nearly two decades ago. We're talking about the Midland Firemen's Relief and Retirement Fund and its growing debt. Today, it's underfunded by more than $100 million. Lily Beth shares the latest efforts to fill in the hole. A revolving door of frustration. The city asks the best. They require the best. They deserve the best. So let's make that happen. Let's keep the best. Let's not lose mass numbers. After frustration. We value our firefighters. We need the job that they do for our community. We want their families to feel supported. And so we have to get this solved. Midland's Fireman Relief and Retirement Debt has tallied up. The current unfunded liability is roughly $109 million. The two actuarial studies uh, have them just a little bit different, but in, in, within reason, they're around $109 million unfunded liability. And the Midland Fire Department, as well as the city, are looking for ways to see eye to eye. We're here to talk about the solutions. I went over five of them that have been on the table. One of them needs to be selected in order to get, get going with this. One of the options to get the ball rolling on a solution is the bond. There's some things that have to happen if we choose a bond route, which we're not saying we're choosing the bond route, but if we decide that direction, we have some timelines we have to meet, and it's a pretty condensed rush timeline. I do not believe it is reasonable for the firefighters alone to correct this problem. The, the cuts would have to be too drastic, and it would be damaging to our fire department and to our firefighter families. I also do not believe it is reasonable for taxpayers to pay 100% of this debt. It must be a combination of firefighters and taxpayer dollars that come together to make the, up this deficit. On Tuesday, no decision was made on how to tackle the issue. I think the progress that was made today was just just getting a lot of information out there and kind of getting the timeline on the record. But all eyes are set on filling the gap. We now need our actuary and our fund board to come together to propose a ballot to the firefighters to make some of those fund changes. And I believe it's critically important that the firefighters agree to make some of those changes. We will also have to have a taxpayer solution for a portion of this debt. And so the part that is to be negotiated is how do we get the firefighters to vote on those plan changes and where do we find the funds of taxpayer dollars to be able to make up the difference and that's the job that we're doing right now in committee work and in conversations such as today in midland lily beth vias news west nine